Here we are in exercise number one. We want to determine the secant of 60 degrees. So what we need to remember is that we're using the reciprocal identities and we have that secant of an angle is equal to 1 over the cosine of an angle. So there's a couple ways to think about doing this problem. The first way is to find the cosine of 60 degrees and then flip the answer to that. So we know that the cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half. Which means if we flip one half, we get two over one, which is the same as the secant of 60 degrees. And if you want to reduce that, two over one is obviously two. So the secant of 60 degrees <clears throat> is equal to two. You're going to get the same answer, really, regardless of how you think about it, if we take the secant of 60 degrees should be equal to 1 over the cosine of 60 degrees, which is 1 over 1 half. And when you have a fraction divided by another fraction, remember 1 can be rewritten, we could write it as 1 over 1 divided by a half. So you take the one on the top and multiply it by the reciprocal of the bottom. We go across here, across here, we end up with 2 over 1, which is 2. So there's, again, the secant is 60 degrees. A last way that you can think about this, let me carve myself out some space here. To get that same value of 2, we could think of the following. We know that cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse and we know that the secant of an angle is equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent. So cosine of 60 degrees is one half which means if you draw that triangle out You've got a length of, so here's my theta here. We have a base length of 1 and a hypotenuse of 2, which means that the secant of 60 should be equal to the adjacent side, excuse me, the, the hypotenuse, 2 over the adjacent, which is 1, which also then gives you a value of 2 out. So I've given you three different ways to approach the problem. They're all essentially the same. Um, just when you're first seeing this, it might be uh, you know a little bit different approach, but I think that um, either way you follow, you'll be fine.